Hi, my name's Chris Hughes. I'm one of the administrators over on the Facebook group called Redbubble and Tea Public Secrets. <clears throat> Quite often in the group we get posts from artists saying that they have hundreds of designs on Redbubble and they've been on the platform for months, maybe even years, but they have very, very few sales. When we look at their shop and their designs, what we notice almost always is that their tagging is poor. So I thought I'd put together a little tutorial here to look at some of the ways in which uh, we can do tagging to help us get found on Redbubble. Let's go over to Redbubble itself. If we uh, search on Redbubble for something like uh, rabbits, for example, here we can see that there are <clears throat> 232,000 results for, for rabbits. So using a single keyword like rabbits is never going to be of any use to us. Uh, these people here who are at the top of the rabbits uh, search results they have sold over and over and over, and they have probably also been on the platform a long time and were able to dominate uh, those keywords like rabbits uh, rather early on. So what can we do? Well, <clears throat> with research, we can dig down and find specialist kinds of uh, uh, rabbits, certain breeds and so on, and we can target them instead of these, uh, these large numbers. I would just like to point out here that if there are 232,000 results, the chances of you being seen at all are pretty close to zero. Redbubble itself only indexes the first 10,000 results. You cannot find more than that. You can scroll down through hundreds of pages uh, of Redbubble results and you will only ever see that top 10,000. So basically there are 222,000 designs on Redbubble for rabbits that will never, ever be seen. <clears throat> when I do my research and I start writing tags, I, I use a sort of a, a basic template which uh, I, I can formulate uh, like this. Uh, this is uh, looks a pretty horrifically complex to start with, but if I break it down for you, you see we'll see how simple it is. Uh, today, in this video, I'm going to focus only on the title keywords. Um, I think titles are very important, uh, and that's because we know, for example, that um, uh, Redbubble and Google both read the title of our designs. Uh, red bubble uh, within about 15 minutes of us uploading the design and Google well whenever it comes across our design it will actually uh, read that title. Google strangely enough only reads the first 65 characters of the title um, and we will want to put in to that uh, those 65 characters the actual type of uh, product that we're selling like a sticker or a a t-shirt or a poster or, or, or whatever. So we don't really have um, 65 characters to work with, perhaps less, perhaps 50, 55 or so. Um, however, uh, I do think that uh, titles should be quite long. And that's because I don't see Redbubble doing any penalty for keywords which are found in titles. Whereas keywords which you put in the tags field occur a penalty in the sense that the more words you use, the weaker each word uh, is in the Redbubble search. Okay, so uh, you can see that I have broken down the title field into four sections uh, and we're going to try to squeeze our six to ten words into those four sections. I use title case, that's uh, uppercase uh, letters for each word, I have no punctuation because I'm trying to save on characters. I don't repeat any words in the title. And of course, we, we omit the, the product names. Um, let's have a look now at uh, what each of these four sections actually are. 
Um, we can start here with um, the, um, the base keywords. They are probably the most important. These are the keywords that you most expect the customer to type in to find your design. Now, before we took, looked at rabbits, but rabbits is a very generic term and probably somebody who types rabbits into the Redbubble search engine isn't actually a buyer. Uh, we, we need something much more uh, specific and concrete. And uh, I've been looking at rabbits and realized there's a type of rabbit called a lop-eared rabbit. So I think that that's quite a good base keyword. It's a long tail search. However, there are almost certainly fans of lop-tailed rabbits out there. Uh, people who actually have them as, as pets or think they're just uh, adorable. Um, so I think this is a good uh, base keyword string to start with. You'll notice it's three words, lop-eared rabbit. Um, and that's because, uh, I mean, the, the long tail searches generally have more kind of uh, uh, words in them. Um, now, in addition to that, uh, we can add some extra uh, keywords to our lop-eared rabbits. We could, for example, let's say we've done a design which is a, uh, a cartoon. Um, we can say something like a cartoon character, lop-eared rabbit cartoon character, say something like that. Uh, this helps us to narrow down uh, the, um, the niche further, but also give some extra uh, things for the Redbubble and Google search engines to chew on. So lop-eared uh, rabbit character, um, lop-eared rabbit cartoon. Uh, rabbit cartoon character. All these are now possible with these extra keywords which we would add in. Um, then at the end of the string I put the design variation. Now so I realized a long time ago that I needed to up the number of designs that I put on Redbubble if I was ever to succeed. <clears throat> so usually for a basic design like for example a cartoon character of a lop-eared rabbit I would make four or five variations, perhaps in different colors. Uh, I might do one in color, one in black and white, one a, a larger magnification. Um, I might do it on a, a sky blue background or a blood red background or a green background or, or whatever. So there's going to be variations for my design. And uh, these last, uh, this last part of the title field I reserve for that design variation. It not always is there a variation of my design. Sometimes they're unique and one-off, but, but in general I have that, uh, that extra. And I miss one field, I just put this at the end here. Uh, I know it goes at the start of the title field string. But this is, this is actually your sales pitch. Now why are people, why should people choose your design in search results? What is it that you're adding, the extra value that you're giving so let's see, how can we put these, these uh, things together to create uh, a suitable title string for our uh, lop-eared rabbit? Well, we might do something like this. Let's start with lop-eared rabbit, title case notice. Um, and then we can say it's a cartoon character. Uh, please forgive my spelling. As I get older, I become dafter. Um, uh, maybe we'll put it on a, 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 a sky blue background. Um, Lop it, rabbit, cartoon character, sky blue. And then I'm going to add in my um, superlative. So this might be, so this is like, what is the added value? So I might do something like a hand uh, drawn. Um, this is very specific, you know. I mean, if you read this whole sentence here, hand drawn lop eared rabbit cartoon character on sky blue, I mean, that is like so pinpoint. But what we've actually done here is we've compiled a number of hard uh, keywords. They're not really, they're not things like cute 
or, or, or funny or, or, or I mean, sort of, they're, they're not these overused words. Uh, I'm trying to be very uh, specific here. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually just check how many characters I've got in here. They're at 57, so that leaves eight characters uh, for the product. Uh, it would work for something like a poster. A uh, classic t-shirt would be too long. Um, we could maybe take out this keyword here. Uh, Andrew or Lopid Rabbit Cartoon. Um, yeah, so this is actually, I think I would probably go with this. I've got in here uh, my base keywords. Uh, this is sort of defining quite specifically a sub niche within the rabbit niche. Um, I might pluralize this because plurals tend to have a little bit more strength. Uh, and maybe I've done two rabbits. Let's hope for that. Um, it's, a, it's a hand drawn cartoon. That sounds good to me. Uh, this cartoon here is an extra keyword I've added in. Uh, sky blue is the design variation. Little on here. Uh, is rather an important uh, small part of speech that's worth including um, in things like titles and tags. Uh, and the reason for that you can find um, by uh, actually watching the previous video I did on, uh, on tagging. So I think I'm pretty happy with this and I think this is a fairly good uh, demonstration um, of how I uh, go about <coughs> making my, my tags, uh, my title tags. Um, I, I try to stick to this kind of formula. I, I find this has results for me. Whether it has results for you or not, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe you will find this kind of approach will help you uh, get find found better uh, on uh, Redbubble. So uh, I hope found that instructive. Um, if you like, please uh, like the video, follow me. What else do these people do? Um, hit the bell notification icon, perhaps. And if none of those things appeal to you, perhaps one day I'll see you on the Facebook group called Redbubble and Tea Public Secrets. Bye for now.